In this video, you'll learn how to use View Administrator to configure a basic CloudPod architecture environment. Setting up a simple CloudPod architecture environment involves three basic steps. Initialize the CloudPod architecture feature, join pods to the pod federation, and create and configure global entitlements. To initialize the CloudPod architecture feature, Log in to the View Administrator user interface for any View Connection Server instance in the first pod. You need to initialize the CloudPod architecture feature only once on the first pod in a pod federation. Select View Configuration, CloudPod Architecture, and click Initialize the CloudPod architecture feature. Click OK to begin the initialization process. The initialization process can take several minutes. Click OK to refresh the user interface. After the user interface is refreshed, Search Sessions appears under Inventory, Global Entitlements appears under Catalog, and Sites appears under View Configuration. To change the default site name, select View Configurations Sites and select the site, click Edit, and type a new name. and click OK. After the CloudPod architecture feature is initialized, the pod federation consists of a single pod. To join another pod to the pod federation, log into the View Administrator user interface for a View Connection Server instance in the pod that you want to join. Select View Configuration, CloudPod Architecture, and click Join the Pod Federation. Type the hostname or IP address of any View Connection Server instance in any pod that has been initialized or is already joined to the pod federation. Make sure the View Connection Server instance has a different hostname. You can't join servers that have the same name, even if they are in different domains. Type the name and password of a View Administrator user on the already initialized pod. The new pod requires credentials for the already initialized pod so that it can connect that pod and obtain permission to join the pod federation. Click OK to join the pod to the pod federation. View Administrator shows the progress of the join operation. Finally, click OK to refresh the user interface. The last step is to create and configure at least one global entitlement. You can create a global entitlement from the View Administrator interface for any View Connection Server instance in the pod federation. To create a global entitlement, select Catalog, Global Entitlements, and click Add. Select the type of global entitlement to add. A global desktop entitlement contains desktop pools that can provide desktops for the entitled users. A global application entitlement contains application pools that can provide applications for the entitled users. In this example, we're creating a global desktop entitlement. Type a name for the global desktop entitlement. Specify whether the global desktop entitlement will contain floating or dedicated desktop pools. Select a scope policy. The scope policy tells View where to look for desktops to satisfy requests from the global desktop entitlement. Select the home site policy only if users have home sites. Configuring home sites is optional. To learn more about home sites, watch part two of this video series. Select the default display protocol for the desktops in the global entitlement and select whether to allow users to override the protocol. Select whether to allow entitled users to reset their desktops. Select whether to allow entitled users to use the HTML access feature to connect to their desktops. Click Next to add users and groups to the global entitlement. Click Add, select Search Criteria, and click Find to filter your Active Directory users or groups. Select Active Directory Users or Groups to add to the global entitlement and click OK. Finally, click Next, review the configuration, and click Finish. The new global entitlement appears on the Global Entitlements page. The next step is to configure the desktop or application pools for the users in the global entitlement that you created. Log into the View Administrator user interface for a View Connection Server instance on the pod that contains the pool you want to add to the global entitlement. Select Catalog, Global Entitlements, and double-click the global entitlement. 
go to the Local Pools tab and click Add. Next, select the local pools to add. In this example, we're adding a desktop pool because the global entitlement is a desktop global entitlement. Local pools that are already associated with the global entitlement or that do not meet the criteria for the policies you selected for the global entitlement are not displayed. Select the local pool to add and click Add. You can repeat this step on the View Connection Server instances in different pods to add pools that reside on different pods to the global entitlement. When an entitled user uses Horizon Client to connect to a View Connection Server in the Pod Federation, the global entitlement name appears in the list of available desktops and applications.